and welcome to your Go Market update for today, Monday the 22nd of August. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, with you on this tour around what's happening in markets today. US equities ended to the downside on Friday to close the week in negative territory. A few reasons for this. We saw rising bond yields. We saw Fed member comments which were still quite hawkish. And of course, there's the underlying recessionary fears that markets are concerned about going forward. Now, the US futures are down in the Asian session, around about 0.5% on the NASDAQ at this stage. And Asian indices are following that weak US lead from Friday. ASX is down around 0.8%, slightly off the lows, but still nevertheless very much in negative territory. And European futures are suggesting also a slightly lower open. US dollar index is eyeing 20 year highs. We hit levels not seen since 2002 last month and we're seeing it move back towards there. Really we've got equity weakness and bond yields hitting monthly highs on the 10 year. The euro is approaching parity again and the Japanese yen looks weak. Gold has broken short term support not surprisingly at 1765 down around 1740 in this morning's trading. Oil is dropping again to potentially test the lows hit last week. Copper is holding, however, above that key 360 level in the base metal space. And we're seeing VIX bouncing off six months lows, quite a significant move higher in Friday's trading, around about 22 at this stage. Bitcoin is also looking weak, falling through its short term range and is at three week lows this morning. On the economic front, we've got China lowering its interest rate this morning. Outside of that, it's a quiet day today, but the US National Activity Index will be of interest since that has an inflation component within it. Later on this week, there is the Jackson Hole Symposium, which is an annual get together where the Fed chairman always has the keynote speech. Be interesting to see whether Jerome Powell continues this aggressive hawkish narrative, which some of his Fed colleagues were outlining last week. Also, tomorrow, we have global PMI data, which is going to be looked at fairly significantly simply because of the concerns of global economic slowdown. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, we're going to start with the Canadian dollar yen. You can see on the 30 minute chart, we have pushed up higher throughout the Asian session on that yen weakness, which we're seeing really across all yen crosses. If we have a look at the daily chart, you can see the significance of this level and the likelihood of a push up towards and potentially through that 106 level that you see there on the chart if we pop back to the 30 minute chart maybe around about 35 pips in the first instance but if we get a breakthrough that then that could precipitate significant buying pressure going forward on the asx not many stocks doing well but the lithium stocks have all had a nice little pop this morning they all started to the downside but we're going to look at alchem limited ake ticker code you can see that really strong move after an early open just around this 1210 level. We're now back into positive territory. And if we just put this on a line chart, it looks as though we are shaping up for something interesting. Uh, just watch this previous high at around about 1277, so about 3% higher than we are now. Certainly a move up there looks on the cards. Uh, but a breakthrough that would again say that the lithium trade is very much on at this stage. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.